Hello everyone and welcome to the Key Productive YouTube channel. I am your host Francesco Alessio and in today's video we're going to be talking all about Todoist and Trello. Now I have been getting a lot of questions over the last month all about sort of how I'm using Todoist and Trello together. Now it's pretty tough because I don't use them in the same way. A lot of people think that I use them in sort of like a really workflowy, blendy way. But when it boils down to it, I actually use them in two very different experiences. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about that and also talk about how you could utilize both of these tools to help you get things done across your day. Now, just before we start, if you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, you should, because there's some amazing people in there, some amazing conversations, all about productivity apps and resources. It's gonna be in the description below. You can join in, uh, it just takes about a day to request your access, and then you're in, which is fantastic. And you can always use the comments below to leave any questions that you may have, uh, and we'll happily answer them here on the channel. So let's begin with Trello. Now, Trello has been one of my favorite resources to use, I think, I've used Trello longer than Todoist itself, mainly because the resource has been out for a while. I'm even wearing today a Trello t-shirt in dedication of this video. For me, Trello does three things. Across my day, what I do is I first use it as a freelance pipeline. And basically, this pipeline allows me to see all of the projects, clients and people that I'm working with as a way to visualize all of the leads and potential that I have. Now, of course I could use a sales tool, but Trello provides me all of the resources I need to get that done. So I use it as a base to visualize all my freelance work. Number two, I use it with teams. So the people that I work with, uh, clients-wise, use Trello to organize all of their activity, and they invite me along to utilize the resource. And number three, I use it as my partial editorial calendar now, as a way to visualize all my future videos that are coming out, and also a way for you guys to suggest videos to me as well. That's gonna be available in the description below. So Trello in itself is one of my most popular productivity apps across my day. However, when I'm using it, I don't really think of it in the same way I do Todoist. Todoist is obviously, you guys know, one of my most favorite resources. I use it every single day, at least five to 10 times a day to access it, to work out all of my tasks, move tasks around and plan for the future. Now, inside of Todoist, you guys know what it looks like. Here's my setup video if you haven't seen it. You guys know that I use Todoist for today tasks, next seven day tasks, and up to 30 days of actionable items. And that's really the key point here, actionable items. In Trello, it's very different because you'll see projects, you'll see plans, you'll see activities, but they aren't actionable tick off items, things I can get done that are bite-sized chunks. So my Todoist is more my bite-sized chunk location. So I have all of that there. So the tasks can easily be ticked off inside a Todoist. So when it comes to using them together, my process is pretty simple. I use Trello when it's high level planning, when I'm like, okay, I need to plan this activity. And I use Todoist when it comes to the ground level bits of work. So for example, let's say we take my freelancing client process, et cetera, et cetera. I go into Trello, I look at all those activities, I plot the potential ones out. And then what I do is I extract a lot of actions and I apply them into Todoist. Now, some people probably think that's a bit of a lengthy process but for me and for my productivity my workflow it's actually a very beneficial way for me to work out what's coming up next so Todoist is more for the groundwork whereas Trello is more for the planning and visioning now for those who are wondering how they can use Todoist and Trello together it's really simple what I would do as a starting point is use Todoist as a way to get started, as a way to plan out your week ahead, plan out your month ahead, just see all of the, the stuff you can get on with, all of the projects and activities. Then what I do is I take uh, a Trello account and set that up as your three to 12 month planner. It could be for a career, it could be for a vision board, it could be for editorial calendar, it could be absolutely anything. But use Trello as a way to see and visualize the future that you want to work on, could be anything. And then what I do is I take a period of time during uh, the month to grab some time and extract items from your Trello account over to your Todoist account so that you can plan effectively and get things out. 
Now, of course, you can connect up Todoist and Trello with some other resources like IFTTT, Zapier, and they even have some, Trello even has some like power-ups that you can connect up. But for me at the moment, I'm pretty comfortable with the setup I'm using, and it's actually a good way for me to use the two resources. When people come to me and they say like, which one shall I use, Todoist or Trello? I'm like, if you want both, if you're wanting to get things done fast, Todoist, if you solely want vision planning and you don't really, you've got like a physical to-do list or like a smaller to-do list, then Trello. And that's if you're forced to use them, but you can happily use them both together. So guys, I hope that cleared up how I'm using Todoist and Trello. Not very exciting, not too many workflows or integrations and things like that, but personally, I find it very beneficial. Now, there are a few things that I do in my day as well. I use uh, my integration signer Newton to clip tasks to Trello and Todoist. I also use the send in email to Todoist as well. So I use some of those micro functionalities to get things uh, clipped, but apart from that, it's pretty simple. You also got the Trello web clipper as well and the new Mac application, which is a good base for that. So guys, I hoped that you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some uh, insight into how I use Todoist and Trello. Let me know in the comments how you're using or whether you use one or the other or another resource that's similar to Trello or Todoist. It'd be really great to hear how your process sits. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.